What's up, gang? Welcome back to Janique TV. My name is Janique, and I like to thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. Yay! If you have previously been here or checked me out before and you subscribe, thank you so much for returning. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and also click on the notification bell. That way you never miss an episode or anything that I do here. Today, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about independence. Yes, 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 yes. I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that means? <laughs> No, for real, I want to talk to you about being independent and how important that is to your growth and development as a human being. How can you be who God called you to be if you are codependent on someone or something else other than your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? How is that? How are you going to survive when that thing that you're codependent on leaves you? So let's talk about that today. So First things first, admitting is the first step. You have to admit to yourself that you are codependent and recognize what you're codependent on. I see a lot of people stay in relationships and they they are dependent on another person for a place to stay. They're dependent on another person for a check. They're dependent on another person for rent money. They're dependent on another person for food, a car, a vehicle, you know, just so many things that people are dependent on other people for. And they, they find themselves unhappy every day and suffering every day in silence and not letting anyone know, but their actions are showing you that they are completely not happy with their situation or circumstance. Like, there are some people who live like that every day and they don't understand like being in the situation that you're in is literally a choice. It's a choice. You are choosing to do this. Like, and I know I'm going to get some like about this, but when Kanye says slavery was a choice, I'm not agreeing with his comment. What I'm saying is the fact that he said that was a choice, right? And people don't understand everything we go through in life is a choice. If there are people who are trying to enslave us, right? Why are we as a majority, and this is our land and stuff like that, why don't we say, no, we're going to fight. We're going to believe in the God that we serve and we're going to fight and make sure that we are not a person. We are not put in this situation. Why don't we fight for what we believe in? Why don't we fight for the cause? Why don't we come together and fight for something? So let me go back to what I'm talking about. <laughs> So today I want to talk to you about releasing yourself from the shackles of codependence. It is time to become independent. It is time to become an individual. It is time to become who God calls you to be. A lot of us stay in these relationships and these bonds with people for far too long. Not only romantic relationships, but friendships, familiar relationships, business relationships, partnerships. We stay in so many things because we feel obligated to that person or that 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 thing because we think we need it in order to survive not not, not understanding that there's another life for you on the other side of the door all you have to do is choose it everything is a choice here in life you don't you don't get put into a circumstance because you can't control what's happening like and don't get me wrong people get kidnapped and stuff like that like it, it, things like that happen but at the end of the day you can choose to fight back so this is how you fight back codependence this is how you fight codependence. This is how you battle codependence. First of all, you got to admit to yourself that you are codependent. And that's someone who was once codependent on someone. I can understand and recognize what's really going on now, right? I'm outside of my circumstance. Now I'm outside of my situation and I could see it for what it was. I'm trying to help you understand, like, you may be in it too. You got to point it out. It's so easy for us to recognize where other people are doing wrong because we're on the outside looking in. But when we're inside of that situation, when we're inside of that relationship, when we're inside of that job, when we're inside of that place, we don't really recognize what's happening unless someone else kind of points it out to us. Like we need an outer opinion. And that's where God comes in. In order to release yourself from the shackles of codependence, after admitting to yourself that you are being codependent on that person or that thing, recognize what it is that, that is keeping you tied to this person. Like a lot of it is money, you know, a lot of it is, you know, a, a vehicle, a place to stay, you know, status, clout. It's just so many reasons that people hold on to other people. And, and I'm going to talk about this in another video. Learn to recognize when you're being used. Learn to recognize when you're on the other side of the situation. Like learn to recognize when you're being used, okay? Because people need you for something. But I'm going to talk about that in another video. Make sure you check that out. But so many people are codependent and they don't even recognize it. I remember um, like literally being down, like down and out and thinking I had so many people to depend on. So I let myself get to this point. You know what I'm saying? That's, it, it's important to recognize it in yourself. You got to take accountability. So I'm here taking accountability. 
sometimes you think you think you're obligated to people's help you think you're obligated to people you know uh, people's um people's generosity you think you're obligated to that not understanding like it's a choice it's a choice for people to help you out of your situation it's a choice people don't have to choose to say yes to you all the time sometimes you got to figure it out yourself and that's really how you you make the switch from being codependent to independent you figure it out yourself it's not just somebody coming to you like hey man hey man i want you to be independent now so i'm going to stop giving you money hey man i want you to be independent now so i'm going to stop giving you a place to stay for free for nothing you know what i'm saying like you might sleep with them to stay there like you i don't know you know what i'm saying i don't know what y'all do <laughs> i'm sorry not you not you personally not you personally like listen okay i know you're on the other side like i don't i don't for no place to stay like okay cool that's not you some people do it though you know hopefully they find this video <laughs> but it's like for real it's like i, I don't lost my train of thought for real it's like it's it's nobody's going to stop allowing you to be codependent on them because people like to feel needed. People like to feel wanted. People like to feel like people can't, can't get rid of them. And that's why I'm not codependent on anybody because I don't want to give anybody the authority to say, no, you have to keep me in your life. You have to keep me in your life. You have to. Like, what are you going to do? I do this, this, and that for you. What are you going to do if I leave? You're not going to have this, this thing, this, this money, this place. Like you're not going to have it. If I leave, I don't want to give anybody that authority, that power over me. I only want to give it to the Lord. So I'm telling you, you have to, to get out and, and understand that when you are making that switch from being codependent to independent, that you're not going to immediately be, B I N D E P E N D E N T. you know, uh, the song, you're not going to just be straight out, be the whole song. Sometimes you're going to be the verse. Sometimes you're going to be the chorus, the hook. Sometimes you're going to be the intro. Okay. Sometimes you're not going to be the whole song just off rip. Understand that you are going to fail sometimes. Understand that, that, that. Life is a test. And every time there's a no that hits you, every time that you get denied for something, every time that you get something taken away from you, understand God will replace it with something better. You can't hold on to these things or be so tied to the to people here on earth or the things because things are temporary. Everybody's so temporary because people are fake. People are fake. You think people want to help you because they have good hearts. No, people want to help you because they want you to need them. So the first chance you get, the first chance you get when you get out of line or you disagree with, with something they're saying or you're not going along with their plan for your life, you know, the first time they're going to they gonna quickly get you together because you need to understand that they do this, this and that for you. And I'm trying to release you from that. Be released immediately in the name of Jesus from the shackles of codependence. Like don't, don't count on anybody for anything. Go get it yourself. Don't go get it yourself and not only go get it yourself, find you somebody who's going to get it themselves as well. And y'all come together and make things happen. You understand me? I don't want no man that's, that's codependent either. Like I don't, I don't look, I'm independent. Meet me where I'm at. I'm not going to require anything of somebody that I don't have myself. And that's why I'm single. You feel me? You feel what I was saying? They don't got the qualities. I <laughs> they don't got the qualities that I possess. That's why I'm single. That's why I, so it's like, you got to recognize like God is is keeping you in lack because of the relationship that you're in. God is keeping you in lack because of the situation that you choose to hold on to instead of letting it go and freeing yourself. And then building yourself back up. It's nothing wrong with starting from the bottom and coming back up to the top. It's just a testimony. It's just one test, one more testimony in your book. How many times has God saved you from a situation? How many times has God saved you from poverty? How many times has God saved you from homelessness? You think he's not going to save you from the shackles of codependence? Like... Let it go. Let it go. And this is, is going to really, this, this idea really was sparked by me thinking about how I have men who come and try to get back with me all the time, right? Not only do these, do these men come back and try to get back with me, but they are in relationships at this point, right? And now that they're in relationships, they want to, to let me know, hey, I'm still interested. Trust me. I'm interested. I'm interested, but I am obligated to this thing i'm obligated to this person right now for my kids and this this and that i'm obligated to this thing right here so i can't be with you right now but what i want you to do is please pause yourself put yourself on hold for me please stop dating don't date anybody don't don't talk to anybody don't do any of this wait for me when i come back because i'm going to come back to marry you i want you to know i'm going to come back just just don't do anything right now because I'm codependent on this other person. I need this other person for this, this, and that right now. I need them to get to where I need to be, to be to be that person for you. I'm like, what are you talking about? 
What are you talking about? Free yourself, please. Stop talking like a, a non-believer. Everybody swears they believe in God until it's time to believe in God. And I'm going to leave you with that. That's where I'm going to leave it at. I hope you got something from my message today. If you did, make sure you check out some of my other messages. I'm going to link them probably right here. And I will see you in the next video. Janique here, Janique TV. I know I was spitting that real because my camera has gone light to dark, light to dark, light to dark multiple times since I've been on here. I've been watching it go back and forth. And Lord, I hear you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray you are released. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> I pray that you release in the name of Jesus for real. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.